So, welcome back to the channel from the one and the only Review Gamer. So, anyway, guys, if you guys enjoy my reviews, let me know in the comments in the comment section down below. Remember, make sure you hit this like video because it does help the YouTube editing algorithm to get this video promoted on the YouTube platform. So, anyway, guys, let's get into this video. First off, like we always do, we'll talk about the good, the bad, and just my overall opinion about the brand new 2021 revival of iCarly. So my first little bit of history about me time watching iCarly. I watched iCarly from 2007 all the way until it ended in 2012. I watched every single episode of iCarly back in the day. In fact, I had a lot of iCarly DVDs and uh, quite a bit of iCarly merchandise throughout the years. I even had all the McDonald's iCarly toys when they were at McDonald's. I mean, some of my favorite McDonald's toys... If I can find images of them, I'll place them up in the upper right hand corner of the screen or the upper, even, the, even between the upper left hand corner or the upper right hand corner of your guys' screen. Uh, just whatever you want to choose them in post editing, editing this video that you guys be watching on YouTube. So, anyway, I had like the eye crawling meatball where, where you can ask the meatball a question and some of the most iconic stuff in eye crawling history. I mean, I even had Stan Remote from the original 2007-2012 version of iCurly. I mean, I was obsessed with iCurly fans so much. I even still have an original 2012 iCurly t-shirt right here. This was the 4th of July version of the shirt. Um, I still, I can obviously cannot wear it no more. I mean, we're in 2021. This is 10 years ago this is I mean I still am sure it's it's uh, it has Nathan Jeanette McCurdy on it which played Sam Puckett on the original iCarly it has Nathan Chris which played Freddy it has um Randy Cobbs which played Carly and it has well Jerry Trainer which played uh Spencer Spencer Shea iCarly was one of the greatest shows back in 2007 2012 I mean it came off right after the ending of a uh, Drake and Josh, and then here comes iCarly filling the spot where Drake and Josh used to be. It's one of the brilliant shows. In fact, a lot of things I like to relate to iCarly is YouTube. I mean, believe it or not, a lot of people did YouTube. I mean, iCarly was like the first one that put like making videos online which is a lot like what I'm doing right now is making videos put online for the entire world all right let's get back into the video so anyway I love watching iCarly in fact I like to kind of think if it wasn't for iCarly it probably never started my YouTube channel I'm gonna get you So, like, if it wasn't for the original iCarly, it's like the show that started, like, the entire movie making. I mean, come on. I mean, iCarly was, like, the first, I mean, they had a web show online, which is not like I'm doing right now, but instead of it being, like, a web show, it's more of a, uh, reviewing show. So, anyway, iCarly is one of my favorite shows back in the day. I in fact, I still watch it to this very day on Paramount Plus. So anyway, iCarly ended. So there was like a spinoff to iCarly called Sam and Cat, which takes place. Actually, to be honest with you, I kind of think that Victorious iCarly and Sam and Cat all take place in the same universe, and possibly Drake and Josh. I have one problem with Dragon Josh taking place in the same universe as iCarly. Because, you guys don't know, um, Myrna Cosmo plays Megan on iCarly, which would eventually become, which would eventually come and play Carly Shea on iCarly. And Jerry Trainer, which played Crazy Steve, would end up playing Spencer Shea on iCarly. Speaking of which, the iCarly reboot 
be honest with you, I was a little hesitant about them bringing back iCarly. I thought the way they ended the original iCarly was brilliant. And I wasn't really quite sure how they'd be able to do iCarly without um, um, Dibby or Sam Puckett. Without Jeanette McCurdy, because Jeanette McCurdy was Sam. I mean, iCarly was Carly and Sam with Freddy behind the camera. I mean, the whole iCarly thing was Freddy, Sam, and Carly. And sometimes Spencer, but Spencer was just more of the goofy brother in iCarly. Without a doubt, iCarly was one of my all-time favorite shows growing up. I watched Zoe 101, Drake and Josh, iCarly. I even watched some episodes of Victorious. I have not seen as many episodes of Victorious. In fact, iCarly had a lot of celebrity guest stars. Michelle Obama was on an episode of iCarly. Jack Black was on an episode of iCarly. The kid that would eventually go and play on Teen Beach Movie was in iCarly. I mean, the, just think about that. Jack Black. Michelle, Michelle Obama, Jack Black, Michelle Obama, and the kid who eventually go and play in Teen Beach Movie and Teen Beach Movie 2 on Disney Channel. So, first of all, let's talk about the good. Right now, there's only three, not one, not two, but three episodes of the brand new 2021 Icon Revival streaming only on Paramount+. Plus. So, anyway, let's talk about the good, the bad, and just my overall opinion. First off, the bad. It's different. It's... I don't really know how to explain the new 2021 version of my Carly. Um, I mean, I mean, there's a lot more good than there is bad. But one of my biggest problems I have about my Carly was they need more comedy in it. I Carly in the original 2007 to 2012 version of I Carly had a lot more comedy in it than the 2021 revival of I Carly, and there's really another thing I like, I don't like about the new I Carly, and that now Freddie instead of using a camera, he's using a phone. An iPair phone, which, honestly, I know a lot of YouTubers do use their phone to record videos, which I don't, I know a lot of people on YouTube also don't use uh, phones to record videos on YouTube. I use a Kodak something something HD camera. But without a doubt. Sorry. So with iCarly, I was there's three things I have big issues with. Is there's not a whole lot of comedy in it like in the original iCarly. Um I wish to explain more about what Carly was doing back when she wasn't doing iCarly and on how her and Carl and Sam's relationship kind of ended. And now that I'd like to go more into Freddy's background on just different things about Freddy. Those are three things I have an issue with the new 2021 version of my Carly. Um, everything else I don't have any problem with. I mean, I Carly, I mean, like, like they always said, this new I Carly isn't made for a new generation of viewers to watch iCarly. It, the new iCarly is for the original viewers like me and you that watched the 2007 2012 version of iCarly and have a new sit down and watch new version of iCarly with most of the original cast members. Um, another thing I have a problem with iCarly is I do wish that McCurdy would come back to play Sam Puckett but unfortunately I know her issue with Nickelodeon and stuff with iCarly I understand why she don't want to come back for iCarly but maybe down the road, it'd be kind of nice if maybe her and Nickelodeon can work out their ties together and hopefully bring her back for at least one episode or two. Maybe not full time, 
because honestly, the way they actually done the new iCloud reboot, it, I mean, there was characters missing, like Sam is missing, Gibby is missing, but they're not replaced, is what I'm trying to say. They're definitely not replaced in any way at all in the brand new 2021 version of iCarly. The good, I mean, Spencer is so funnier than he was in the original iCarly. I mean, just the, I mean, he's a multi-millionaire in the brand new 2021 version of iCarly. I mean, just because of a marshmallow sculpture accidentally caught fire. I mean, that is so brilliant and it just brings a taste of what the original icon is all about. Because every time Spencer made a sculpture, it was somehow magically catch on fire. I mean, I can show you three examples right now. By the way, I hope you guys enjoy those three examples of Spencer's sculptures catching on fire. I mean, without a doubt, how many sculptures has Spencer caught on fire throughout the four or five years? That I cry was airing on the Nickelodeon television stations. By the way, to talk about more things about the good of iCarly, the brand new 2021 version of iCarly, all the new characters add something new to the story. It don't feel it, it does not feel like they just add them in there to replace Sam or Gibby. I mean, without a doubt, and. Oh my gosh, in the second episode of the 2021 version of iCarly, season 1, episode 2 of iCarly, 2021 version, uh, where Carly has a hater. Oh my gosh, and how it was actually like a fan from the original 2007, 2012 version of iCarly. How he sent a video to iCarly, but yet his video was never been shown on iCarly. That was just a brilliant taste by the director producer of whoever made the brand new 2021 version of iCarly. Oh my gosh, that was so, so brilliant. I mean, I mean, honestly, a lot of great stuff for the 2021 version of my Carly. I mean, honestly, uh, guys, if you want me to review season one, season two, season three, season four, all the seasons of the original 2007, 2012 version of my Carly, in the comments, comment section down below, I'll post an out random throughout the year of 2021. By the way, guys, thank you guys enjoyed this video. By the way, do you guys think that I'm a fan that I want to give you my honest opinion? Do you guys think you should get? Do you, do I think you should, guys should get Paramount Plus just to watch the brand new 2021 revival of I Carly? Be honest with you, no. I would not say to get Paramount Plus just for I Carly right now. I will wait until Paramount adds all the episodes of the brand new 2021 revival of I Carly and just binge watch all things. There's like, I believe there's going to be a total of 14 episodes in season one of I Carly. Hopefully, Paramount. Or over CBS, Paramount, Nickelodeon decides to bring back iCarly for a season, second season of the 2021 revival with Carly, Sam, and Friday. I, mean, I would love to see Sam Pocket come back and play Sam Pocket. I mean, just for one episode. One episode to bring back memories of the original 2007 2012 version of iCarly. I mean, OMG. When you first sit down, grab a Pepsi. When you first sit down and grab a nice warm can of Pepsi and watch the new act early, you'll be blown away. You'll think of this comedy, goofy kid show, guy Carly back in the day, but it is a lot different. Just sit back and watch. So guys, let me know in the comment section down below. Do you guys have Paramount Plus and have you guys watched the brand new 2021 version of I Carly? By the way, another good thing I like about the original 2021 version of iCarly is the theme song from the original iCarly is back. And it fits so perfect. I'm glad they did not change the theme song. It's a brilliant move on Paramount's behalf. By the way, guys, do you think Paramount iCarly will be able to come back? Yes or no? Full time on Nickelodeon? I do not think so with this new version of iCarly. It is totally different than what would be allowed on television at all. So bye, guys, thank you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching. And by the way, flip that like button. By the way, I'll be re All right, now I'm working on many reviews. By the way, stay tuned for a review on this. See you next time. Bye.